Good morning, everyone. My name is Pedro Uriel from Partini Incorporation. Today, I am going to present our demo. And today, we have here a setup of our uh, multiple devices. And uh, we have a multi-panel that is a control center setup. So today, I will show you here that we have our four sources that are four computers, then our extenders over IP. We have four pairs of them integrated with their uh, transmitters and receivers. Also integrated all of them with our uh, Ethernet switch that is required in this in this case because otherwise we'll have latency. Uh, it's um, also integrated to our KVM that is this processor. And then the KVM is integrated is uh, yeah, integrated to our multi-viewer, that is our video wall processor. So I will explain part of each one of the parts of this. So today this display is set up with the purpose of multiple use and uh, of the of the computers at the same time. This is the main purpose of a KVM device. So you can use the four computers that you have here that you can identify in each one of, of these uh, panels that you can see with different numbers, computer one, two, three, and four, that all of them are here. Then when we connect them with their HDMI 2.0 and their uh, USB cable uh, type P, we can get them to be with these extenders that have the capacity of 100 meters over IP uh, uh, extender. So it means they can be remotely and your uh, 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 panels with your display that can be your control center, can be in another uh, room or, or in another uh, part of the building. Then, of course, these extenders who are 4K, they, can, they have the capacity of uh, by the Ethernet cables being integrated all in this Ethernet switch. Why is an Ethernet switch? It, it's required the bandwidth management system for this because it cannot be uh, in another kind of, 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 of uh, a switch. Then uh, to get exactly the, the, the rooming of the mouse between each of the panels at the same time. Okay, to avoid any latency, it's, it's needed, this snooping uh, switch. So, the, if, as you can see, the receivers also are connected to, um, to our um, devices. So, when you connect with the Ethernet cable, both of them, the uh, transmitters with the receivers, then the HDMI cables, the four of them, will go directly to be connected to our KVM uh, processor. Then also with our KVM processor is needed to connect with our Type B USBs uh, cables. So they, the, those uh, uh, four cables uh, are actually directly connect to also to the to the receivers. As well, you know. The, the extenders over IP 4K have the capacity, in our case, they are KVMs by its own. So also you can have them individually. You have the, you need, of course, uh, the, cop, the pairs of the transmitter with the receiver because those are um, encoder with a decoder. And then we will have them uh, connected to our USBs uh, area that it can work exactly like the KVM with our mouse and our keyboard, you can connect it directly here. So you can have also small KBMs if you integrate it separately. So in other, in other words, we have here five KBMs at the same time. But uh, talking about the uh, how to multi-use the different uh, sources that are our computers, it's actually very, uh, you have two, two ways to use it. No, number one is, here that is the output that it allows manually is you can have the four sources at the same time that is displaying the four panels 
or individually. In this case, will be in all the video world because we are integrated with our uh, video world processor. And with it, you can go directly manually, pressing the different buttons to move between the different sources. So this is the computer number two, computer number three, and computer number four. Then you can go back, pressing here, to get all the four panels there. If you want the panel lock, what it happens is that you can just lock to avoid anybody to press any of the buttons. But if you want to do it manually, now you can again uh, press on it. It's just for a uh, safety purpose that we have that. Then with uh, our KVM also, when you have your keyboard and your mouse connect, connected to, to your uh, uh, KVM device, it's very comfortable that you can change between all the computers from your desk. You don't need to move and press the button. So if you double click in the row part of the mouse, you can go, let's give an example. In number one, I will press double click and it will full screen of the uh, computer number one. You can directly work, uh, yeah, change maybe something or, or, or display another kind of video or do whatever thing that you want in it. If you want to come back to the previous, that is the four panels, you can just press again and you will switch back. Then you can uh, maybe go to the computer number four, again, double click. It will again uh, full display and then if you want to go back also. So you can use each one of the computers at the same time, rooming between each one, and at the same time you can directly full screen any of the sources if you require that. Then uh, here the other option that we have is that, well, in this kind of case in our setup we are showing also our uh, multi-viewer, that is our uh, um, video wall processor is two by two. It means four sources by uh, for, for input and for output, it means the four um, panels can be connected to, to it. In this case, because we are connecting our KBM, normally a KBM has only, uh, in, the, in our case, this model has only one source. But in this case, we connect this one source to four outputs. It means we are displaying in all uh, the, the panels, that is four panels, these uh, these four sources. It's possible because of it. Otherwise, it's only one source. It means it's only in, in only one is in one of the uh, uh, panels will be displayed the four computers. But in this case, we set up this with our uh, multi viewer. So in this case, in conclusion, we have uh, showing you uh, three of our very good products: our extenders over IP our KVM, and also our, mood, uh, our um, video wall. Thank you so much, and if you have any questions, please, we have now time for it.